All right, we're gonna now move on to say thank you to Volkswagen Group of America for offering its unconditional support to our group and mission. Personal thank you to Cameron Batten, the Chief Communications Officer of Volkswagen Group of America for being such an advocate and supporter of the foreign press in America. Please join in welcoming Cameron. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Uh, on behalf of the 550,000 employees working for the Volkswagen Group worldwide, we wanted to celebrate and recognize the foreign press community and tonight's honorees. Without you, we could not tell our story in every country we operate. Um, we also recognize you for being the unsung heroes who have to sift through the noise, seeking truth that lies beneath the surface. You are our watchdogs, tirelessly working to hold those in power accountable for their actions. You are champions of transparency, ensuring that the public is informed and empowered to make decisions that shape our collective future. Tonight's award winners and scholars will continue to shine a light on injustice, expose corruption, and amplify the voices of the marginalized. They bring stories from all walks of life, ensuring that every voice is heard, every perspective is considered, it is through these diverse narratives that we build bridges of understanding and break down the barriers that divide us, fostering a greater sense of humanity. So let's get started with our award winners. I'll first start with Anisha Diuta. Anisha, can you join me? Anisha is a New York-based investigative journalist from India with experience spanning nine years as a leading correspondent specializing in the intricate interplay between politics and policy. Her recent stories have been published in The Guardian, Al Jazeera, Indian Express, Hindustan Times, Economic Times, and The Print. With a steadfast commitment to uncovering the truth, Anisha has made significant contributions to journalism by meticulously documenting the rise of authoritarianism in South Asia, closely tracking far-right Hindu nationalism, national Indian politics, foreign policy, and international conflicts. Anisha enrolled in Columbia, Columbia University's master's program for political journalism, where she deepened her expertise in political writing and analytical reporting. Prior to her studies at Columbia, Anisha served as an assistant editor at the Indian Express, one of India's leading English dailies. During her tenure as special correspondent in the National Political Bureau of Hindustan Times, Anisha con contributed significantly to the field by breaking essential stories, including her expose on India's handling of the COVID-19 crisis. Please join me in congratulating Anisha. I'd like, I'd like to next recognize Anthony Esquera from the Philippines. Anthony. Anthony is a Filipino multimedia journalist and an aspiring journalism innovator. He is the founder and executor, uh, executive editor of Factual, an independent nonprofit newsroom that started as Fact Check Chatbot during the pandemic. And I can tell you, as someone who works with journalists every day, we need a lot more fact checking. Anthony currently attends New York University where he's taken an MA in journalism program that focuses on journalism innovation, audience, and news products. He was most recently a Southeast Asia reporter for Vice and Vice World News where he produced investigative and in-depth reporting on the intersection of health and politics. He is also a stringer for The Voice of America, reporting on text, TV, and radio platforms as a broadcast journalist for Philippines' largest broadcaster, GMA Network. Anthony sought to address disinformation by providing in-depth and timely reports for F Filipino millennials on the, the award-winning Stand for Truth newscast. 
He has worked as a reporter for Inquire.net, the online platform of the Philippine Daily Inquirer. In 2018, he was a Hereford Youth Fellow of the National Endowment for Democracy in Washington, D.C., where he explores strategies to combat disinformation. He is an alumnus of the Asia Young Leaders for Democracy program at Taiwan Foundation for Democracy. Please join me in congratulating Anthony. Okay, and now we will move on to our Professional Excellence Award to Frank Joseph Uciardo from Italy. Frank is an Emmy award-winning television journalist working at the UN's correspondent for TRT World International News Channel. Uh, Mr. Uciardo previously covered the UN for CBS, as well as reporting breaking news from Europe and Asia. He also served as a correspondent for NBC and CNN and was the evening anchor for the HD News Channel. His investigative reporting received the Society of the Silurians gold medal for a series of reports that forced the Department of Energy to shut down a nuclear reactor leaking radioactive waste into drinking water. He also covered the terrorist attacks on 9-11 and the crash of the TWA Flight 800. His UN and overseas reporting has received awards from the Society of Professional Journalists, the UN Correspondents Association Broadcast Journalism Medal, and the New York Festival's Award for International Reporting. In his pro bono work, he serves as a judge at the, the DART Center for Journalism and Trauma and as, as a two-term president of the Society of Professional Journalists and a board member of the Deadline Club of New York. He graduated from honors from the New York Institute of Technology with a master's degree and a BFA. Please join me in congratulating Frank. I know we're not supposed to take up some time, but I wanted to give a shout out. This is really a team award for the TRT World team. Back in London, in Istanbul, uh, Omer, uh, Bora, uh, Ennis Alde, our new U.S. Bureau Chief is here with us tonight from Washington. Thank you for coming. I want to just give a shout out to Jer Van Dyke, my former colleague, a truly great journalist from our CBS years, uh, who was held by the Taliban for over six weeks. Uh, he walked the walk, talked to talk, terrific guy. Uh, an honor to be before all of you. Thank you so much.